Hi, it's Eliana, and today I'm going to cover the results of the intuitive channeling with Source Creator about Anki and the Ea Anunnaki bloodline. I have recently done cosmic history of the Anunnaki's involvement with Earth and the galactic humans, and what I found there was concerning to me because there had been cloning done and genetic manipulation done to the humans of Earth, to the primates that were intelligent already. So genetic manipula manipulation had been done to them already 450,000 years ago. And cloning, this is what I found through doing the galactic history of the humans. And again, to me, that already raised a red flag. And recently some things have been happening around galactic humans who are, who are ET contactees and who are emissaries of the Galactic Federation of Worlds going up on Anki's ship and saying that Anki is a wonderful human being. And yet there's controversy and other sources saying, stay away from Anki, he is dangerous, he is not what he seems. So these sides of, of the light and the dark playing out roles have been um, coming forward. People with information have been coming forward I'm not naming any names or who was involved, who went up and, you know, went up on the physically on the ship with Anki. Uh, it involves women. So, and it's not safe, apparently. Uh, these women have been saying that Anki is the father, the creator, our creator, our daddy. He's our father figure. It's, it's soul wounding father figure programming being projected onto these women. Because Anki is not our dad, he's not our daddy, he's not our father, he's not a source creator, father of humans. He modified humans, he was a geneticist. He eventually gave humans free will choice to think for themselves, but in the beginning that was stripped from them and they couldn't procreate. Uh, so that he gave to humans later on. He can manipulate humans whichever way he wanted, even 400,000, 450,000 years ago on Earth. And now Anki is back. So I was warned by Source Creator because I am in contact with Source Creator directly. I was warned I, I needed to do a channeling project about Anki but I was warned not to do it because it was dangerous. Uh, source creator gave me this information and then something else came out about Anki and, and, and about these women going up on the ships and what happens to them. So I'm going to discuss the findings of this intuitive channeling about Anki and the Ea Anunnaki bloodline and what that is all about what's happening on these motherships with these women going up, what happens to them, and this is disturbing information. Question to source creator. Recently, you warned me that the Anunnaki Anki should not be channeled. Why? Source creator. Answer. Anki represents soul trapping humans by attracting them to what they want to know in terms of information in visiting his genetic experimental labs on the Ananua two motherships. He is trying to harvest the human's galactic DNA under the guise of bringing back the Grail DNA blueprint. That Grail DNA blueprint was already brought back by Aleia. She is also Ea's bloodline from Anki. It's his daughter from 1000 100,000 years ago. So Anki had many children. He had eight, he had nine children in total. 
and they were called gods and goddesses. And Alea, Alalea, her name is pronounced Alalea from the Ea bloodline. She basically brought back the Grail DNA blueprint um, for humans to start integrating. It wasn't Anki. And humans are pure in their soul involvement. Anki is harvesting Pleiadian and other galactic DNA from humans visiting his ships. This is happening now. Galactic DNA has been collected from several ET contactees and those that claim to be Galactic Federation of Worlds emissaries. There are women who have been severely fooled by Anki's energetic charms and false promises for humanity. So it's his daughter, Aleala, Alea, who has brought the Grail DNA blueprint to humans 100 years ago. It was not Anki. Anki is not providing us the Grail DNA blueprint. He is telling that to those females visiting his mother ships, but that's not the truth. Alea, or she's called Aleala, that is her soul name. Uh, she came up in a remote viewing as being the one who brought the Grail DNA blueprint, not Anki. It's not a current thing that's happening, something that already started happening 100,000 years ago. It's an evolutionary process. Question to source creator. Is Anki no longer in a flesh human body and now a cyborg because he has integrated with AI, with the AI fully? So has he fully integrated with AI? Source creator answer. Anki still has a humanoid flesh body, except it is filled with nanites that create an advanced network of genetic code planning, which is tracking certain humanoids on various planets with galactic DNA variants that, it, that can access the ARC ships, meaning those galactic DNA variants can access the ARC ships, open them up, explore them. It's through DNA access. That is the security feature. And DNA source piloting spaceships so DNA, actually, you scan, you put your hand on the navigation pad within the craft and it scans your DNA genetic imprint of whatever species you are, whether it's from your past lives, being Pleiadian, whatever the um, DNA source coding is, it will scan it. And, you, and if you're compatible, with the genetic scan results, you can pilot that spaceship because it's designed for that particular species or groups of species. So this is what Anki can now copy the frequencies of the DNA to access ship systems on Galactic Federation of Worlds craft since the humans with the galactic DNA code sequencing were given access to test pilot. GFW ships, Galactic Federation of Worlds. There is a breach in genetic security on the Galactic Federation of Worlds ships in the DNA encoding, in the sequencing of the mechanisms now being able to be accessed by Anki. The galactic humans have been infiltrated through energy cord attachments to Anki who has used the galactic DNA from these humans to duplicate their genetic matter and access Galactic Feder Federation of Worlds ship piloting systems and navigational protocols and processes. So there's been a lot of infiltration going on. These women are innocent. They don't even really understand what's happening to them and how they're being used by Anki. Question to source creator, why is Anki allowed to do this and the Galactic Federation of Worlds is not blocking this infiltration on the galactic humans? Source creator answer, the galactic humans were warned by source creator not to connect with Anki in physically going on his ships by being transported there as he is no longer embodying the light source field codes and his intentions are to harvest galactic DNA 
so that Draco can infiltrate the Galactic Federation of Worlds ships through the DNA encoded piloting systems and navigations, navigational protocols. The Galactic Federation of Worlds guardians of the Galactic humans did not listen to this warning, stating these humans have free will choice to decide what they will do, and the Galactic Federation of Worlds guardians will then block them from being false emissaries if they become infiltrated. So Galactic Federation of Worlds were made aware of the threat that Anki poses to their operations in terms of the in terms of the DNA encoded piloting systems on their crafts being infiltrated, space stations and any other moving objects that they pilot so Draco will not gain access to secrets through gullible galactic humans who are too trusting of the false father figure. That is Anki. This is daddy programming, false daddy programming, false father, father figure programming, um, not being loved enough during a lifetime, having a hard time with men, having a hard time searching for love and looking for love in all the wrong places. This is soul wounding, deep soul wounding happening to some of these women who, who want to be loved and taken care of but are not receiving this. So they're falling for Anki's charms of the father figure, the protector, the creator supposedly. Yes, he did help to evolve humanity to a certain degree of intelligence and autonomy for uh, self-free will choice eventually. But in the beginning, humans didn't have that because of his genetic tinkering. That was given back to them later on. What Anki gives, he can take away any minute. So it's unfortunately a very vicious cycle of false promises and false manipulation of offers to entice people to go on his ships so he could steal their galactic DNA. Question to source creator. Are the claims true that Anki is being controlled by, it, by an AI system in a type of cyborg symbiotic connection for the body? Source creator answer. Even though Anki has an organic body, since it is now encoded with nanite technology. It is like a mainstream AI system that is simulating a cyborg environment within his body. This is an efficient vehicle to trick and fool the galactic humans to falsely trust this creature that is no longer fully made of flesh in this time reality. Anki is a soul trap danger to galactic humans as he can energetically influence the thoughts, minds, and even bodily functions of the galactic humans that have visited his ships. And these are galactic humans from Earth who claim to be emissaries of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, female emissaries. He has their soul frequencies embedded within his AI brain system and can access the soul and DNA codes to possess these galactic humans with negative soul programming. They can be his energetic puppets to do with as he pleases to control them for his bidding. Question to source creator. What is the Grail DNA blueprint and why did Anki claim to be bringing it back to humans? Source creator answer. The Grail DNA blueprint is the original source coding of DNA that was at its purest, that came from the planet Era and life force creation in Lyra. In Lyra, this DNA sequencing was suppressed by the Anunnaki genetic experiments on humans of Earth, done by Anki, and the blueprint was shut down in humans so they could not energetically access it through light code evolution. Anki seeks to further suppress this process by fooling, by fooling the galactic humans with false promises of bringing back this grail DNA blueprint to cure humans of all diseases and DNA mutations. This is a PSYOP operation to collect the galactic humans' genetic source materials from their ET DNA and harvest it for Anki's genetic reverse engineering projects to bring down the fleet ships 
of the Galactic Federation of Worlds as they have become too reliant on DNA security lockdown systems and access points for piloting their ships and space stations. So basically, DNA encoding security with, blue, with DNA blueprint identification of certain galactic humans and other beings, if their DNA matches to a Pleiadian type, to an Andromedan type, they can fly these ships. But Enki has now been able to copy their genetic coding and he can bypass the security systems and the ships of the Galactic Federation of Worlds using those people's genetic material to program it into the navigation systems, into the piloting systems. So this is a major threat to the Galactic Federation of Worlds. And that needs to be addressed. Question to source creator. Was Anki and the Ea bloodline originally bred having Draco DNA as part of the Anunnaki and Draco connection? Source creator answer. The Draco had particip participated in breeding the Ea Anunnaki bloodline almost 600,000 years ago to prepare them to infiltrate Earth close to 450,000 years ago. It was the Draco's plan all along. The Ea Anunnaki of Anki and Elnil branch bloodlines were not aware that Draco bred them in the distant past, and now genetics of this false breeding is influencing Anki to return to the false light energy encodement influences of the Draco through the pull of the genetic DNA frequency calling card that the Draco had embedded within the Anunnaki DNA sequencing. It is like an energetic beacon calling card urging the Anunnaki from the Ea bloodline branch to return to their makers and their influences, which are in this case the Draco pulling the higher up puppet strings. That means the Draco are enticing Anki into doing dangerous and foolish things. And Anki in turn is masterminding the manipulation of the galactic humans who go up on his ships. Question to source creator. What do the Anunnaki motherships look like with the genetic experimental labs on them? Source creator answer. The Anunnaki motherships with the genetic experimental labs on them are giant saucer-shaped motherships. There's mainly two of them that are either metallic gray with silver components or brown with a bronze sheen and color. They are huge, so if seen above the skies, you won't miss it. There are also cylindrical attachments on these motherships to propel them into hyperspace velocity and to do deep space travel. Question to source creator. What is being done in the genetic experimental labs on the Anki motherships other than harvesting the galactic DNA of the humans and reverse engineering it? Source creator answer. Anki has managed to create cyborg bodies for the Draco where they have mixed in the Draco genetics and the Anunnaki Ea bloodline genetics into these cyborg bodies that are the future drone soldiers for both parties to attack other planets if they are not compliant to be under Draco and Anunnaki rulership. These are experimental Draco Anunnaki cyborg bodies and they do not look human like the current version of Anki with the nanite technology blended in with the human organic body systems that he inhabits. Being deceptive to look human is still part of Anki's strategy to entice the galactic humans to come to him on his motherships so he can steal their ET DNA source coding to use against the Galactic Federation of Worlds. How, however, so this is a caveat, however, the Draco and Anaki drone cyborg soldiers are genetically bred for brute force to take over planets and they do look fully like the cybernetic abominations that they appear to be in real life 
that Anki has created with his new genetic experiments. They can also steal the source coding of human DNA, DNA and literally suck up the life force energies, energies, so they can literally suck up the life force energies from human bodies in order to energetically feed themselves. They are energy vampires in bodily forms. So if these Draco Anunnaki drone cyborg soldiers actually take somebody's life force energy of humans, they'll leave them a dead husk because they'll drain you dry and suck you dry. So this is quite dangerous what Anki is creating here. It's, a, it's, it's, it's abominations. This is very disturbing to hear this through intuitive channeling, to have this come up. I didn't expect these answers, but this is what it is. Um, so this is what some of these motherships look like. Dangers of Anunnaki AI cyborg infiltration to galactic humans. This is a cybernized mothership. One of the Anunnaki looking silver crafts. And this is what Anki currently looks like. You can see on his face the nanite technologies embedded within the organic body. So that's not natural. He has a glowing body. That's not natural. That's because he's embedded with nanites. This is what the Anki Ea Anunnaki bloodline looks like that is being controlled by the Draco AI and nanite symbiotic systems within the humanoid within the humanoid looking body that now acts like a cyborg. That's Anki. This is the current version of Anki. Current representation of Anki, the geneticist on the Anunnaki Genetic Experimental Lab motherships. So this is what he looks like. Humanoid, slightly elongated skull, does have hair, kind of bronze skin, golden bronze skin with the nanite coating running through his skin. That's what you see on his face. And he can create wings if he wants with the nanite technology. Since it's embedded in his body, he can create whatever form shape he wants with his body. He can change his body shape and morph it to have wings if he wants, or even change his molecular structure. If he wants more muscle, if he wants to be taller, if he wants to change his appearance, he can do that because of the nanite technology embedded in his organic body. So this is what these Anunnaki motherships look like, the dark gray ones with the cylindrical attachments. And they can also be brown with bronze sheen. They're huge. You can't miss them, like Source Creator said, because they're big. If you see these in the skies above you, don't enter these ships. You're, you're entering a soul trap. This is dangerous. And this is what these Draco Anunnaki cyborg soldiers look like that um, Anki has genetically bred and created up on those motherships. This is the result of it. That's another huge project he's doing, the Draco Anunnaki drone cyborg soldiers. He's, he's creating these. And that's an abomination. that can so this can literally suck out people's soul energy life force energy and make them a dead husk if you see that don't engage with it it's dangerous it could kill you it i hope we never see that but this is being this is what's being created up there on the anki genetic experimental labs on those motherships that the galactic humans have gone on Perhaps their DNA was used to create this as well. Not just the Draco Anunnaki um, genes. I think human gen genetics were also stolen to make this, which is sad. And this is the, this is Anki stealing galactic humans DNA on the motherships and it's done energetically. He can energetically extract people's DNA sequencing and coding, read the 
ET genetics from it, reverse engineer it, and bring down the Galactic Federation of Worlds craft because he can mimic galactic human DNA now. And the ship won't know, the ship system won't know the difference. It will not know the difference, whether it's the galactic human putting their palm to pilot the ship or it's Anki reverse engineer DNA because it looks the same. He can reverse engineer galactic human DNA. So there's no difference and encode that into the Galactic Federation of Worlds navigational systems on their ships and steal their ships or destroy them or whatever. This is so dangerous. Galactic Federation of Worlds was warned about this and they're ignoring it. They're still letting, they're still not stopping their emissaries from going up on these ships. And this is sort of the representation representation of the Galactic Federation of Worlds not taking the Anunnaki threat seriously. Not taking Yankees threat seriously. This is the best representation that I could find. Uh, yes, Pleiadians are part of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. They're tall, beautiful, blonde looking people with green and blue eyes. Uh, very beautiful. Pleiadians, Andromedans. And this is what the original Grail DNA blueprint looked like. So, and no, Anki did not deliver it to the humans. It was his daughter, Ayala. Yeah, so Grail DNA blueprint that Ayala brought to Earth 100,000 years ago. From, she, she is of the Aya bloodline but she is not working with Anki on these disgusting experiments. That's what I learned from the other remote viewing. Um, so this is what's going on, unfortunately, up in space right now. It's not pleasant, it's quite disgusting. But uh, yeah, this, and this is on this is September 9th, 2022, Friday, that I did this intuitive channeling with Source Creator about Anki and the Ea Anunnaki bloodline to figure out what was going on. Because if I had actually done the channeling of Anki and had it broadcast live, Anki could have possessed me potentially and taken over my soul. So Source Creator told me, don't, don't do it, don't channel him, it's too dangerous. Don't risk your soul, don't give up your soul for a channeling session, it's not worth it. So that's why the intuitive channeling was done with Source Creator to find out what was going on with Anki and those motherships and the galactic humans willingly going up and being manipulated and uh, horrible things happening to them potentially because of the result of going up on his ships and having their galactic DNA being stolen for disturbing projects um, to target the Galactic Federation of Worlds by the Draco and the Anunnaki. So this is the results of this intuitive channeling. And it's not good news. I wish it was better news, but this is what it is. So. I am very concerned about what's going on and this is why I am revealing this intuitive channeling because this, this, this information is disturbing and it needs to be stopped immediately. So thank you so much and namaste.